Thingiverse is a really cool website with like countless 3D models for 3D printing. They have so much stuff. It's a huge resource and it just it's super cool what they have. So I'm curious if they have a Tesla Cybertruck. And sure enough, they have a few. I'll go with the first result here. And that looks really nice. So yeah, there's a lot of detail. So I want to print this out and my machine can definitely print this out just fine. It's small enough, it's not huge. That is super cool. I know a lot of people are kind of controversial about the Cybertruck. Personally, I think it's super cool. So down in the thing files, I'm gonna download all the files that we need. I'm gonna skip doing the windows because that's just a black insert that will go in there. I'm only gonna be printing it with one color. I'll need to print the body front, the rim, the outside, uh, the windscreen. So a bunch of different parts here I'm gonna download and print out and I think this is gonna turn out really cool. All right, now it's just about done. It's at 99%, it's doing its last few passes. And this is really looking cool, it's shaping up. It's looking great. A uh, very smooth finish, everything's even. I'm really liking this. The middle support actually broke out. There used to be a support here, but the two outer supports kind of grew out and the PLA really pulled ahead right there. It really helped because now it's able to bridge across flat and everything turned out just fine. Now it's on its final few layers. They're just finished. And that looks really nice. That leaves a really nice finish on there too. There it is. Now that is cool. That, oh, it's upside down. That is looking really cool. I've only got a few pieces left now. I have the chassis on the bottom which will go in here and add the bevels and the accents for the wheels, and then the wheels themselves. The wheels just finished, and they are really cool. It's actually two separate pieces, a rim and a tire, and then a taper holds them together, and it actually almost snaps in place, and it just fits in there really nice. I have to expand the hole a little bit to allow a bolt to go through. I have the front and back chassis pieces glued on, and you can see I have the two front wheels here, and this is looking really good. And the good thing is they installed these screw mounts here because PLA doesn't glue very well, and some of the other plastics that you 3D print with have a hard time wanting to glue together. So doing it with bolts is a lot easier, and it'll be stronger than it would be anyway. And you can see, here's the back piece. That fits in place, and the front piece goes right in place, and that's looking really cool. I drilled these holes just a little bit bigger, so it's the correct size for one of these screws. And then these just thread themselves into the plastic. And it's going in very nicely. That's good. The wheels don't really need to move very well. It's mainly just for looks. It's close, but I need to drill it out a little bit. It's tricky because it's so small. You gotta hold it real tight and then carefully drill it. I mean, you're not gonna go through, you just have to know what you're doing. But it definitely likes to get caught. There it is. And we'll clean it up a little bit with the countersink. Now this screw fits right in place and we'll go ahead and put it on the other side. It's amazing just how well these rims fit into the tire. I mean, that's impressive that it's a tapered hold on a 3D printer. That accuracy is impressive. What am I doing? That's not a Phillips, it's an Allen key. This spool in the 3D printer, this is where the filament was held. It's out, we bought a new one. Of course, the new one's not the exact same one. It's a different one, different company, and it doesn't fit in here. And I've tried winding it back up by hand, but that takes way too long and it just doesn't hold. So what I did is ran the filament up here, 
and I have the Hatchbox PLA filament on two, like one of those big cottage cheese containers you get, and then a rod here, and that it works just fine. The machine's able to auto feed it, and it doesn't run into any problem. And here's the finished Tesla Cybertruck. Personally, I love the design of this car. I think it's genius. I know there's a lot of people that think it's the ugliest car ever made, the ugli ugliest truck ever made. I really like the design of it. It's simple. It's, it's really cool. So this is why I made a model of it. In the models that I got from Thingiverse, there were window panels that you would put on here. I don't really want to go through printing those. I mean, it looks fine like this. If you wanted it a little bit more realistic, and that was a two-tone color, they have the body of it gray, which is what it is in real life, and then the window's black. I just have black filament, so that's what I used. And this looks really good. There's a lot of detail in the truck bed. You can see there's the ribbed, and it just looks really cool. I'm very happy with how this turned out.